Hello friends, welcome to HTML video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorial, we have understood how to use HTML5 video tag. To embed a video in a web page, we can use the video tag or embed tag. The browsers that support video tag will play the source video provided in the video tag and the browser that don't support the video tag will play the source video provided in embed tag. Videos that are embedded by using the embed tag are played by installed player plugins. Whereas videos that are embedded by using the video tag are played by the browser themselves. If we embed a video by using the embed tag, then user need to depend on the plugins. If player plugin is not available or installed, then video don't get play. User need to install or enable the plugin to play the video. If we embed a video by using the video tag, then user need not to depend on any player plugins because browsers will play the video themselves. Both video and embed tag have the src attribute which accept the source video file to be played. To control whether the video should get play automatically or not, video tag uses auto play attribute, embed tag uses auto start attribute. To display the controls, in video tag we use controls attribute whereas embed tag automatically adds the controls below the video. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss some more attributes of video tag. So first thing you can see in the Firefox, this is how we get the output and in the Internet Explorer, this is how we get the output of the code that we have written. We can set the width and height of the videos. First thing, I go to embed tag and set here width equal to 300 pixels, HEI GST height equal to 200 pixels. I say file, save, go to Internet Explorer and refresh. You can see the video width and height got reduced. If I go to Firefox and refresh, nothing happens because I have to set the width equal to 300 HEI GST height equal to 200 in the video tag. So video tag has the width and height attribute also. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see the width and height of the video got reduced. This is how you can set the width and height of a video by using the width and height attribute. And one more thing is if I play the video, let me go to Firefox and play the video. You can see the video is getting played. I go to end of the video. You can see the video is getting played. Once the video got played, at the end video gets stopped. It won't loop back. If you want to loop the video back or you can play again and again repeatedly, then you need to loop the video, right? To loop video, you have to use the loop attribute in video tag. For example, let's see file, save, go to Firefox and refresh the video or refresh the HTML page and play the video. You can see video is getting played. I go to end, video ends and gets replay back. You can see that. I go to end of the video again, video ends and replays back. So that is the loop attribute operation. So loop attribute loops the video. Similarly, in embed tag, what we have to do is we have to use the loop attribute and we should set true or false value. So here I say true. True means the video should loop. File, save. Go to Internet Explorer, refresh the video and play the video. You can see video is getting played. I go to end of the video, video ends and gets replay. I go to end, video ends and getting replay. That is how you can loop the video by using the loop attribute in embed tag and in video tag. I hope you guys have understood how do you loop the video. File, save, go to Firefox, refresh, go to Internet Explorer and refresh. One more thing we can do is, you can see here, the video control here that we see is displaying the first frame of the video which is completely black screen, right? Instead of that, we can display one of the frame of the video or we can display one image here or we can say, we can set a thumb image or we can set a poster to the video. To do that, you can see what I have done is, I have taken a screenshot let me right click on it and say preview. Taken a screenshot or a snapshot of one frame of the video. I can apply this image as a thumbnail to the video or as a poster to the video. How do we do that means we can go to the video tag. Here we use poster attribute and to the poster we have to give the image file. I'm going to copy this name and paste here. Dot PNG is the file format. I'm giving the image file here. File. Save, go to Firefox, 
Now this time if I refresh, you will see that image in this place as a poster or a thumbnail. If I refresh, you can see I have that image displayed. Then once I click on the play button, video will get start playing. Hope you guys have understood how do you set the thumbnail image or poster image to the video by using the poster attribute of a video tag. We don't have any such attribute with respect to the embed tag to display a image on the video or a poster on the video. We can use some CSS techniques to display some image. So hope you guys have understood different attributes with respect to the video tag and embed tag. How do we control the videos? Remember that SRC attribute accepts the source video to be played and controls attribute adds controls or video controls to the video. Loop attribute is going to loop the video. Width and height attributes are used to set the size of the video. Poster attribute is used to set the poster to the video. And autoplay attribute is used to control whether the video should get automatically play or the video should get play only when the user clicks on the play button. So for this tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the next tutorial, we get more information on HTML. For more benefits and be updated, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.